Hey everyone, it's Haley. Welcome to Monday. We're doing another whole week in the life here. No, we're not doing a week in life. We're doing days in the life. So welcome to Monday. This is all about Monday. And it's going to be a weekend recap. I think it was a pretty good slash bad weekend. So let's see. What did I do? So I, I had kind of wanted to get to the gym this weekend, but... It was just not in the cards. We went shopping on Saturday. So we went shopping on Saturday, so there was lots of walking involved. I got most of my steps. I came home. I did a 30-minute workout, and it was a good day. It wasn't anything too tremendous that I had to do. I did not have to do 60 minutes of workout to get to a good place, so that was nice. Sunday. Sunday was actually the first day I have not met my step goal in, I think, probably like since the weekend after Thanksgiving yeah since the weekend after Thanksgiving and it is now two months later and in terms of not getting my goal my goal right now is 11,000 steps a day and I got like 10,300 and it was like quarter to 11 and I was like I just don't think I'm gonna do it so I just want to stop walking yesterday I did do Thai bow for the first time I was online looking up some exercises that I wanted to do. I'm trying to keep myself interested and I feel like I was getting bored with some of the exercises that I was finding on YouTube. So to try and keep myself motivated while I was at home, I was trying to find something fun and interesting. And I found Tai Bo from the 90s, early 2000s that I remember doing in high school a lot. That was fun. That was the weekend. I also broke one of my fingernails, which is really sad. I'm working on growing them out. My friend told me probably because I'm healthy, they're doing much better than they've done in a really long time. Now on to today, I am off to a wellness appointment. I have it with Andrew. I don't think that there's going to be a change in the scale. I bet there'll actually be like an up in the scale just because of the bad weekend I had, although I felt like I was still pretty successful because I still I kept moving. It was not a 3,000 step day. It was a 10,000 step day. So I just, I just don't think there was enough time between my last appointment with Lindsay and this appointment with Andrew to see much of a change, but they are on two different scales. So it'll be interesting to see what I weigh on the scale at my doctor's office, which is where Andrew's located. And the other exciting thing that I'm doing with Andrew today is he, as part of my wellness stuff, had asked if I was interested in a personalized X workout that I can do at home. It'll be about a half hour workout, I think. I think Lindsay's going to come partake in the exercising or the creating of my very own exercise that I'll be able to do at home. I'm also going to talk to him about certain exercises that I do in workouts at home that I just don't think I'm doing right, such as push-ups and squats and things like that to get a better technique. If I have the opportunity to do that, I'm excited. That's what we're doing and then I'm off to the gym. I'm starting week two, day one, or week two of Couch to 5K, so it's a little bit more running involved and a little bit more walking I think as well and I think it's one minute longer so that's exciting see oh I forgot to mention in the weekend update that I bought new sneakers they I think are too narrow but they were super on sale so I'm not going to use them at the gym at this point I'm just going to use them for home workouts to see if they work I don't want my feet to start hurting I am gonna take a little bit of medicine before I go work out today because my back has really been hurting and I have received some medicine from my doctor at some point along the way for pain for my feet particularly because she was like if you're going to work out it's going to hurt so I figure that medicine will hopefully make my back feel better as well. I feel like I've talked a lot but I will recap once we get to wherever we're going and I'll be interested to see on my ride to bring Kensley to daycare and on my ride to see Andrew what I start worrying about because it seems to be in those moments I have all these things I want to talk to Andrew about that I get really worried about right now I just think I need to figure out how to stay motivated when I'm working at when I'm working out at home and don't have the ability to get to the gym but today's a gym day so I'm almost to my appointment I'm running late which is par for the course welcome to my channel I am typically late 
I'm really worried about this, what the scale is gonna say because no matter how much I said it was a good weekend, it was probably one of the worst weekends on the journey since I had the fail weekend where I just did nothing. It was like, I don't know, I just, I made cowboy caviar last night. I had a really good like dinner, but it's so late at night that certain things are happening. So I don't know if I don't lose anything and I stay exactly where I was, I will be happy. I just don't think I've lost anything and I in some ways feel like I might have gained. For some reason I'm like, I gained 10 pounds, but maybe like a pound. I mean, it wasn't that bad and it wasn't the best. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. We just gotta get in there. I'm running that was a good appointment so I met with Andrew and Lindsay came along as well and they he Andrew specifically um, Lindsay was learning gave me this packet of different exercises it was a lot of stretches and a lot of like core strengthening and definitely some stuff that I had not done or if I had done I had not done it as what did they keep saying almost like keep it slow and keep it very meticulous basically think about what I'm doing rather than like doing it as fast as possible it was a lot of me like thinking about where my hips were compared to my shoulders and where my ankles were compared to my feet and my legs it was just a very good workout I think I definitely learned some stuff I also got a new mat one of the things that I didn't have at home and this workout was all very much floor based in some ways was a mat so they allowed me to take a mat with me. I also have some new bands that I can use at home. I'm excited to see what this does for my home workouts and how I can kind of like get these involved. We talked about the fact that my back has been hurting a little bit and different things that I can do to help that, such as watching my core, holding in my core, don't do things that make my back hurt, bring them to Andrew and talk to Andrew about them to see if maybe there are things that I'm doing wrong and that he can correct. And then there will be some things. We threw out an exercise today that he wanted to do, but it, it really hurt my lower back. No, really, I just was like, oh, that's kind of hurting my lower back. And he's like, let's just scrap it. One of the things that I'm learning over this journey and that I don't know if I knew or was practicing or whatever, but is the idea that just because I put on a workout doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to do everything in that workout and it's okay to modify. It's okay to say I can't do jumping jacks not because I can't do them, but because my floor is going to fall in if I do too much jumping. So I'm not gonna do those. But it's also nice to say, I cannot do this plank right now because my back hurts, or I can't do this right now because my back hurts, and modifying that to my needs to make sure I'm still getting in that workout, but also um, not hurting myself in the process. The other thing I talked to Andrew about, and I've talked to you guys about, especially last week, is this idea that I'm trying really hard to constantly get those 11,000 steps, and that there are points in the day that it just becomes unbearable, the amount of workout that I would have to do to get there, and that I willy-nilly the workouts at that point, and, like, I really just think that if I could get my steps, or focus less on the steps, and just do a really, really good 30 minute workout? Am I getting more out of it than making sure I get my steps in every day? I think I'm gonna have a really hard time like shifting to say, oh, I don't need to, to care about the steps because the steps right now are such a clear indicator that I am doing something that day. And it's just, at this point, it's like the time, like, <sighs> I'm just thinking, I wish I could get outside and walk or I had more opportunity just to walk a little bit more. And the real thing is, is I do, I just don't. Like, just because it's cold outside, should that prevent me from going outside and walking up and down my driveway four times? 
Like really, it's it's as simple as that. It's as simple as me just saying like, I'm gonna go outside for five minutes and I'm gonna do something for five minutes. Even if it's cold, even if I'm uncomfortable, I'm getting in my steps and I'm doing what I need to do. And then when I go inside and I'm like, all right, let's get a good workout in, let's get some cardio in, I can just focus in on that. Well, I don't have to worry about that today. We have to worry about that tomorrow. Today is a gym day. We're on our way to the gym. I'm gonna drink my coffee. And we're gonna get a workout out in. Work out in. Let's get going. For some reason, I'm like procrastinating. I don't really know why. Hello. I'm in the gym. I'm getting ready. I feel like I forgot to tell you that I weighed in at my appointment today with Andrew, and I was at 254, which was three pounds more than I was when I saw Lindsay last Thursday. Taking it all with a grain of salt, I think what I need to do, and the reason I say that is two different scales. Lindsay's scale is in her location of the hospital. Andrew's scale is in his location of the hospital. So I think I just need to keep to one of them. So I'm gonna try to always log the weights like in my Fitbit app. It just got very busy in here. So what was I saying? Oh, I'm going to try and focus in on only one of the scales. So I'm always gonna pay attention to Andrew's scale. So that way I know if I'm going down because in reality I did lose two pounds since my last appointment with Andrew, even though I, I gained three pounds according to, to Lindsay's scale. But I feel like just for consistency's sake and my own sanity, I need to just pay attention to one. And for Lindsay, although I won't be paying attention to the weight as much, obviously it'll be really good when I see low numbers. and will make me upset when I see high numbers, but with her I am doing the weight measurements. That will be the really key indicator on during her appointments, how I'm doing over there. Just a quick update, I'm ready for the gym. I'm gonna get going and I will see you guys soon. Oh, I wanna show you my new outfit. I purchased, kind of. I purchased the whole thing at some point, but I got a new shirt. See? I did just buy new shoes, although these are not my new shoes. I'm just not sure if the new shoes actually fit. <laughs> forgot about you guys yesterday. No, I didn't forget about you. I just got very in, involved with life and I forgot to like close out the vlog. So I went to the gym, worked out. I got nearly like 17,000 steps yesterday. So it was a good day. And I got at least like 12,000 of, of them at the gym and 5,000 of them not at the gym. So that made me feel really good. I definitely feel it in my abs this morning when I wake up, but it was a good day. I ate good, I exercised good. Here is a new day, it is a work day. Yesterday was Martin Luther King Day, just so you guys know how delayed the vlogs are. And today's a new day, so if you're interested to see what happens in the on the newest day, be sure to check out tomorrow's video. Bye.